So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. So this is my very rare review. It's in night time. Today I'm going to review this BYD Dolphin. This is the standard range. It's not the higher output extended range model. This is basic uh, component. Is is a front wheel drive, and it's a hatchback. Okay. So today I'm only focused on telling you how does this standard variant drives compared to the extended range because I actually do have a video which I already tested the extended range which is the more powerful version so I'm curious to find out how the base variant which is this one performs okay as an EV basically when you start the car you press on the brake you start the car there's no engine so the interiors will be very quiet so I'll open the light so now let's start driving so for the BYD Dolphin the gear is very easy to navigate it's on the center dash, just pull down, it's in drive. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now let's begin our drive. So the handbrake has the auto release function whereby when you put into D, the electronic parking brake will automatically disengage. Okay. So this is a front wheel drive vehicle, so it should be a very easy car to drive. Okay, so now. I'm in Eco Majestic Semenye, so I'm going to test drive this car and make a night review within this area. Right now, I'm on 97% of charge. I still have 397 km of range. I'm in normal mode. Okay, so now, going through this speed bump, you can noticeably tell that the rear suspension is not as comfy as the full spec because this is running on the rear torsion beam instead of the multi-link that means that this standard range doesn't have an independent suspension for the rear but still, the comfort wise still better than most ICE models something like a Honda City hatchback is better than that okay? because BYD emphasizes on comfort on their EV so even though this is their smallest car in their lineup but it still offers a decent comfort okay. so the power delivery is very smooth as an EV and oh. <laughs> this power delivery is not as immediate as the extended range because this has a smaller battery output okay. and when you lift off the throttle it will have a regenerative braking system activated I now I'm on high that means that it will have a strongest regenerative braking. And the steering can be adjusted, tilt and telescopic, and the seat for the standard range is manually adjusted instead of electronic adjusted. Okay, seating position is quite nice for a hatchback, small hatchback. It's something like a B to C segment kind of hatchback. Mind you, it is smaller than the MG4 but still, the drive is quite comfy as well It's not as firm as the MG4 and the body roll, it controls quite well and visibility to the exterior is good because it has the quarter window like the Honda Jazz so you can clear the blind spot Now you can change the mode. This is for the music. And when you press this button, you will activate the 360 degree camera. Okay, it's a very high resolution 360 camera. And when you want to switch the driving mode, you need to locate a scroller beside the gear lever. It's not pressed, but you need to push to activate. Okay, you have three different driving modes: sport, normal, and eco. Okay, let's try e eco mode. So eco mode, it will obviously save more in energy. And in sport mode, you notice that the power delivery is much more aggressive. Immediate is a sure thing because EV offers an instant torque. And this screen is carried over from the Auto 3 and the seal. It supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. 
and I want to talk about the ride quality of this BYD Dolphin is actually excellent for the price of this standard range is around 100,000 for the package it offers it's actually quite good and the brakes are bitey they are not overly sensitive which is good and going through these speed bumps although the rear is a torsion beam setup but it handles the undulation and the bumps quite well Now let's make a full throttle. Ninety. Okay, I'm above a speed limit by a bit in this route. But one thing for sure is this zero to one hundred will not be anywhere faster than the extended range due to a smaller battery output. But then, as a daily user, it is more than enough. Okay, now I'm in the very dark road and the LED lights are considered quite bright and as you can see the LED light cuttings they will have a function where it avoids the opposite direction car so that it won't glare their eyes so this is something good function coming from a sub 100,000 ringgit Malaysia EV hatchback So let's continue straight. Now I'm going to switch to normal mode because this car is best driven in normal mode because it has a lot of balance function, not too powerful, not too aggressive. And so far throughout the journey just now, I'm only used up around 1 to 2% of the battery charge, which is already considered quite impressive. So now I'm going to make a U-turn here. Turning radius is excellent because this car is running on smaller inch rim. I forgot what inch is it. I will put it in the description or in the video. Turning radius is excellent. Consider a small hatchback. So it's a very easy to drive, easy to control, easy to drive daily. And the headroom is rather okay for my height. My height is around 170 plus plus. Although this roof is finished in full black to emphasize a bit of sportiness. And the bucket, semi bucket seat also holds me quite well. And I sit in Auto 3, Seal and Dolphin. I would say BYD seat is one of the most comfortable seats that I ever sat. It is quite soft. So in daily driving, this is a very comfortable cruiser as well as a daily roundabout car. And the interior material is rather decent for a sub 100,000 ringgit Malaysia car. Although you may find a lot of hard plastic but their hard plastic is those quality type. And the door handle design are also quite fancy. And the door handle right here is all finished in soft touch leather. Steering wheel is the same carryover from the Auto 3 instead of instead of in the seal. So the steering wheel inch is just, just about enough for a small hatchback. This steering can tell one in the middle. Okay. Here are a lot of bumps. Okay, so now I'm in the menu where I can adjust the steering assist. Just now I'm in comfortable steering, so the steering wheel is a bit lightweight as most China EVs. 
，你电话不可以拍到这样 detail 啊。嗯。But now I'm in sports, so the same view is more towards a firm side. And the brake assist mode means the braking feel. You can also adjust to sport and comfortable. So when it when it is in comfortable, when you step on the brake, you have some free play because you need to provide you a less aggressive braking performance. So I will prefer in sport because as an EV, you tend to drive a little bit faster, so you need a faster response time to brake. So there are a lot of things you can adjust in the screen. Which I will not show you now because today's video is focused on how it drives. Okay, as a sub 100,000 ringgit Malaysia electric hatchback, I think the Dolphin is one of the model that you guys can seriously consider because so far no any other car company in Malaysia offers an EV in this such attractive pricing. So for BYD to offer the Dolphin, the low spec, the standard range in this pricing, and it offers adequate range for daily usage. So I think I have no complaints with this car. So now let's enjoy the silent drive for this BYD Dolphin. So one thing you will notice is when you're cruising in such a low speed, the exterior will actually come up with a artificial sound to remind the pedestrian that this car is around you. So this is one of the safety features that most EV will have. And as you can see, when you put into reverse, it will activate the 360 degree camera and the guidance signs is quite clear. And it has, it follows the steering. Okay, but brightness tell us a little bit. Jam tell. An? No, last year. Yeah. Tell. Tell it all. Yeah. Okay. And you can select different views. Okay. When you put into reverse. Okay. Okay. You can very easy to navigate where you park. So this the number plate, which is the bumper. So I will not park so close. And to pee. Just press here, and when you put into P, the parking brake will automatic engage. So it's this convenient. So now let's look into the controls right here. It's some very simple things that you can control. Okay, and this is your driving assistant feature because this is a low spec, so you it also comes with an intelligent cruise control, which is the adaptive cruise control, which you can follow the front car speed, all sort of things, and it's the regenerative braking you can adjust standard or high in that case just now it's in high okay range mode standard dynamic vehicle settings steering assist brake assist comfort parking lights you can adjust the height the side mirrors auto fold 
air conditioning you can once you use the remote engine start you can control how many minutes the aircon is running before you go inside the car locks notification vehicle prone sound standard brand okay this is the car mileage service maintenance interval vehicle status and the screen is the party base of BYD it can be rotate air conditioning this is a standard range so you only have single zone climate controls oh sorry it's dual zone S single zones yeah single zone so you can adjust the temperature where the air you need to blow this is your fan speed all sorts of things you can control via this screen okay you can clear the widgets the screen responsiveness no joke all the Chinese EV, including BYD, they all do very good screen interface and the smoothness. So, yeah, in conclusion, I think that this BYD Dolphin, although it's a standard range, I think you guys should consider if you are looking for your second car for your usage in town. Because in long journey, it's not really recommended because of the range and this size of car is actually perfect for town usage instead of highway long journey drives if highway long journey you will go for the BYD seal auto 3 or even the tesla okay so this marks out my test drive experience with this BYD dolphin standard range be sure to subscribe like and share my videos cheers